I'm Scott Al Miller. It's the 22nd of November, 2023. This is my vlog of daily life living in Latin America, and I am here in La Paz. We're downtown, and I'm taking my first very dangerous walk where I don't know how much air I'm going to have. <laughs> can tell I'm running out already. I'm heading up hills. So that's making it even worse. I'm heading out to meet Alan and Anna for coffee. They said they were pretty pooped by the time they got to the cafe. So uh, we're going to see how I do, but I want to get a lot of this city for you. So I'm, uh, I'm just kind of giving it a try and see how it goes. So we're out for our first day going for a walk, but I do feel pretty good at this point. Slept already, we got in last night, so I've had 12 hours or so here, a little bit more, 13 hours. And so far I'm feeling good, but this is my first time walking. So fingers crossed, join me right after the bump. All right, I'm starting my walk and I wanna give you guys kind of a tour. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you where we are. We're really downtown. We're in the middle of universities, in with the high rises, very close to a lot of the plazas. So it's a good area to be in. I'm gonna be able to show you a lot. Now, La Paz is a very vertical city. So there's a lot of, a lot of really high buildings, a lot of really high mountainsides. Uh, and that makes it a little bit tough to be able to show on the video compared to say Cochabamba where it's much more flat. Uh, so I'm gonna do my best to give you guys some Really serious views, just so you know, my apartment is uh, on the 16th floor right over there. And this is where we are. This is definitely a much older, much grittier city than Cochabamba, also a bit larger. Although not, not massively larger because Cochabamba has gotten pretty big. Check out this underpass. I wanna cross over, but no, that doesn't look great. We're gonna cross over on the other side. But there is a pedestrian walkway over there. And I'm heading up there towards a coffee shop. You can see the, the mountainsides are completely covered in houses. There's a reason why you need a cable car to get around this town. Oh, this is a plaza right here. Well, that's handy. So I'm standing on the overpass at this point. We did drive around a little bit last night because the airport is in El Alto which is the barrio above La Paz proper and is a huge city on its own right. And is the world's highest barrio. La Paz is the highest, is the highest um, uh, metropolitan area, but El Alto is the highest barrio highest actual living area. So La Paz is at 12,000 feet and, and El Alto is at 14,000 feet. So <laughs> we could really feel it when we landed. I don't know why they chose a cafe so far away. One that looks perfectly good right there. It only takes a minute of watching the videos to tell this is a completely different city than Cochabamba. It is not as chilly as I was anticipating. This is a university, by the way, or so I was told. I was expecting it to be quite a bit colder. I'm not sure what the temperature is, but I'm in, I'm in jeans and feeling comfortable. Oh, I want to get some of this nice park down there.
it's all uphill so when I'm talking I'm really running out of air A lot of elevation change, even in the littlest spots. Huh. I'm not sure what's the best walkway through here. Well, I'm filming, so let's go to the park. But there's much traffic. No, I don't like that idea. Okay. I think I need to head into the center. It's a nice park here. Oh, and the coffee shop is right there that I'm headed to. So we're just going to walk around back the way we came. Hey guys, you're on camera. We're getting coffee. One of the ads. Head out for a walk. Okay, have fun. Good looking cakes. This is a beautiful neighborhood. All right, we had coffee, had a lunch sort of thing. I'm gonna see how some exploration goes around town, see how how I do without any air. <laughs> really pretty park through the middle of the city.
I almost had a clear shot across the road, but not quite. There we go. Well, Paul would be happy. There's a cotton candy seller going through town. Oh, these are some cool buildings. The high rises here are noticeably, obviously much older, but also much bigger than in Cochabamba. Find the architecture here very interesting. A lot of really cool old buildings along here. A lot of them converted to shops and restaurants now. I have to remember to walk slowly. Public stairs going up to another level of the city. Looks like Lisbon. I'm filming people being interviewed. This is a gorgeous walk through the city. My goal, ooh. Okay, we just missed it. A cable car just went by, but another one should be by in a second. So I'm gonna, gonna stall here momentarily. But the cable cars are going by right at the end of that street. Apparently they don't come by as frequently as I thought. Oh, come on. There we go. There you can see them. That is Super cool. So my goal, if I can handle it, is to head down to the lower level. There's supposed to be a big city park down there. Should make for a nice walk. This appears to be a cinema. I have five nights at Freddy's. Got a pizza place with it. And then this crazy looking place. A 
it just got a lot warmer, like several degrees. Gotta be an office building, looks really cool. Car dealership in the city. All right, I'm gonna take a quick break here, catch some air and uh, consult my map and figure out where I want to go to show you guys more interesting parts of the city. So far La Paz is pretty cool though. If you like a traditional urban environment and a hilly structure, this is a pretty cool city. All right, I'm gonna try crossing the road here. Oh, this is easy. Okay, they're coming a little bit fast. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of traffic. There's a lot of people selling something that looks like peeps. La Paz is a very urban environment, which being in the mountains, it's very compressed. Everything has to be, everything has to be very tight. We got a Xiaomi store right here. Very cool. All right, we have reached what is known as the obelisk. But first, check out this building. That is really large. And digital signage down the entire side. 
And then this is the obelisk. So we want to head this way. Gotta show this park a little bit more. The university here. And I do believe this is where we want to go. I am going to take a minute and check the map. All right. This is indeed the road that I wanted. Congratulate myself on navigating the city. There's definitely some interesting postmodern architecture. Ooh, and Mega Burger. <laughs> I'm a little bit of the crazy guy on the sidewalk with the camera. It's a lot more crowded here than in a lot of places that I film. So there's a lot of people looking at me like I'm, I'm nuts, which I think we can all agree on. A lot of digital signage in this city. I like that the lights give me an amount of time that I have to cross. little art deco going on. That's kind of a cool building down the street there. Got a stoplight here so I can take a minute to show you the street. Like we're safe to cross. <laughs> so if you're wondering about my first impressions of La Paz, as someone who has lived in both New York City and Pittsburgh and many other places, I'm going to name those two places as the cities in the U.S. that I feel are most similar here. Pittsburgh, it's about the same size, I do believe, and it has that super hilly, keeping the place clean, very cool. Saw that in Cochabamba too, lots of city workers keeping everything clean. It may not as look as clean here, but it is quite clean. It's just there's a lot of graffiti and stuff. Cute little, little park along the road. Oh, huge government offices here. Look at the size of that. So because of the graffiti and stuff, it looks, it looks more gritty, but everything is quite clean. There's no trash anywhere. But anyway, because Pittsburgh is what I call a three-dimensional city, it goes up and down, and you're always looking up at parts of the city and down at other parts. 
And that's exactly what you get in La Paz. There's always stuff going on somewhere on the hills in the valley. And it makes for all these high rises. And, uh, and Pittsburgh is just such a beautiful, interesting city because of that. But it's also kind of gritty like this. Cochabamba was so modern and pristine, at least in the parts that we were filming. And this is clearly so much older, so much more established. My understanding is that Cochabamba is like the, the current hot place to be, where all the real modern investment and, and uh, immigration is happening. And La Paz has been this major, there's the King Long Chinese buses. La Paz has been the main center of everything for just forever. Ah, so here's part of the park and there are the cable cars coming up over the park. Very cool. I don't know if this is where I want to go, but I'm going to step down here. You can go check out this bridge. Now this is what I mean by being like Pittsburgh. That's not water down there, it's just another layer of the city. It's like these buildings go way down. Pittsburgh needs cable cars. They have some things like cable cars, but they don't, they're not used for like main transportation around the city. They're used for tourist stuff, which is cool on its own. But this is, this is a serious part of the city itself. Now, notice we're actually on a bridge and the walkway beneath us goes under us. And look how far down that goes. My gosh. So the cable cars are coming from way down there and coming up here, well, we can see them. And then this is one of the stations that they're coming into. This is a great vantage point. What a fantastic form of public transportation. This is gonna be impossible to show on the GoPro, but I wanna point out, so this is a near mountain peak here. This is not clouds. That is snow on high Andean peaks farther out from the city there. That is snow-capped mountains outside the city. So cool. All right, so we're gonna come back this way. Lots of cool artwork in this city. I really like that style. That is fantastic. Well, that was not where I wanted to go, but it was a nice detour. I also want to point out recycling is really big here. So this is the Green Island, where you do all your different types of recycling. I've seen other spots in the city that say recycling, it's not an option, it's a requirement. Well, we got something going down here, but I don't know to where. Ooh, check out that bridge coming from this other building. This is undoubtedly a city of layers and cool art.
the Mercado and the city buses. Okay, I've come upon the park that I was looking for on the map. Hopefully I can go into it and through it. If not, I'll have to take the road around. This is a bit more walking. I'm feeling good. I'm going downhill now, so I'm cheating, but... Interesting. Okay, I'm choosing to walk very far around apparently, but check this out. Look at the view. This is going to be a very hard walk back to my apartment. This is kind of extreme. What have I done to myself? Alright, let's keep on moving. This is not open as you can see here. This is a neat area here. Look at those cool buildings up on that ridge. Oh, perhaps, perhaps this is open. Well, here we go. Oh, look at the puppy. Hello, puppy. Hola, amigo. Buenas tardes. Yes, I just walked through this park. I have no idea. This is an unbelievable elevation drop. <laughs> I'm going to so regret this. But check out the views. So cool. All right, I'm gonna pause this for a second while I get down there. But first, just to show you where I am. What a great way to see downtown. All right, we've come around the side of the park. I have no idea how I'm supposed to get across to the other side of all this, but I've discovered this. There's clearly a road down there. Now how do I use it? Oh. 
It's a baby lamb. All right, I gotta find a way through. Okay, there's the skate park. Or it's like a bike park, it's pretty cool. There's a flat ring around, and then a curved one on the inside. And then there's this cool walkway thing. We're gonna see where this goes. Nowhere. Oh, it's closed. This would have been really cool had it been open. All right. All right, we're heading out this way. I hope there's stairs. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're on this road that comes by the park. There's where all the buses park. I'm gonna go on a limb and say I may be one of the very first YouTubers to ever film this part of the city. Cartelera Cultura. What is this? I don't, I don't know that I want to climb that, but it looks really interesting. There are stairs. I don't know if you can see it. Stairs going up the hillside. And uh, I think I see people up there. I don't know what they're doing, though. I have to limit my stair climbing, unfortunately. There's also a path on the other side. Okay. Can I get across the road? Once again, this is how Scott dies. Do, 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 do. All right. This looks like it's meant for humans. Where does it go? Oh. Oh, I don't know. It looks perfect. We're taking it. Onward and downward. Ha. Ah, so that's the walkway that was closed up above me. How cool would that have been? I don't know how far it goes, but it's, it's neat. I'll show where it came from over there. And we're going to continue down here. Sorry for the bumps, there's a lot of steps. This is all very pretty. Oh, there's a nice pedestrian way over there. Heading I don't know where. But I think I have to follow this road around so I can get back up because my, my apartment's over in those buildings. So that's the way. We're gonna have to do it, I think. I'm gonna stop and consult a map, just in case. This is pretty cool. All right, yes, I need to go this way because I have to limit how far I go. Unfortunately, this park is staggeringly large and goes through the middle of the city. And uh, maybe I'll be able to come out later and record more of it, but I can't do that much on one go. I can neither risk it with altitude sickness, nor will the battery last, so you wouldn't get to see it anyway. Ooh, suddenly it got very warm. Wow. At moments, it's almost chilly. And at moments, it gets very warm. A little bit, uh, a little bit interesting. None of this is what I was expecting to be what I was filming this morning. Ooh, look at this sidewalk. Something happened here. Wow. That's extreme. Was loud. Big open park here. I don't think we can go in there. I think it's people setting up for some kind of carnival or something. Oh, maybe you can go in. It's just open right over here.
All right, looks like we're safe to cross. Yeah, this is where you could go in to this park. That's where we came from up there. It's cool walkways. All right, now I'm walking uphill, and now it hurts. Some big circular thing over there, with a huge mural on it. No idea what that is. I'm going to pause this and teleport you guys up to the top because this is going to be very slow. All right, I've made it up to the top of the hill and uh, got across all the intersections and I'm ready to head down the street again. All of that walking, <laughs> I didn't go nearly as far as I had hoped. I'm definitely slow in this air. But I'm going to be coming back really close to where we started today's video to so get a bit of a loop and a really good idea of what La Paz looks like. Buenas. You'll recognize where I am. This is the park. And the crossover over the highway. There's the park that we walked. Whew. And we're gonna take this this time. Oh, such a nice air up here.
This is my building right there. The nice modern one. Next door to this cool antique mansion. That was not a bad walk at all. And I want to show this park that we're above. Very nice. So this is my building where I am part of this week. Alan also has an apartment here. I'm going to show this. Mine is in this front portion here that only goes up like 18, 19 floors. And then Alan is on the portion that's behind that goes up at least 22 floors. The <laughs> buildings here in La Paz are tall, very, very tall. And this place, clearly a mansion. How gorgeous is that architecture? That is amazing. All right, I'm gonna cross over and uh, do some uploads. Take a little break. I need a little, a little time to recover after all that walking. But that was a fantastic walk. I'm really glad that I did that. I really like what I saw, and. Uh, We'll definitely be out later to get some more and again tomorrow and hopefully the day after that. I'm doing my best to get as much of La Paz in as possible, but I do have to be a little bit careful. So that I think was a very good start. And uh, I don't even know what's going on today. It is currently only 1230. I've been up since six, so it's been a bit, but I've done a bit of walking, had breakfast. It's been a cool morning. So I'm gonna take a break and we'll see what happens next.